So in this final case study, it's another certificate one that occurs during the pre-check phase and it'll occur if the vCenter CA certificate is not verified. So in the migration assistant.log, we'll see the error message vCenter CA certificate not verified and the migration assistant pre-checks will fail. So this will occur if you're migrating from a Windows vCenter server 5.5 and it's caused if the vCenter 5.5 certificate CA cert.pem is not located in its respective directory. So to resolve this issue, we need to manually recreate the CA cert.pem file. And this file should be the CA certificate of whatever issued the current VPXD certificate. So if this is a, a default certificate, you may have to reinstall vCenter. But if it is a CA signed certificate, it needs to be your, your CA certificate from your trusted CA. Once you have the file recreated, you can perform the migration and you should no longer have any problems. So that concludes this particular case study on an invalid CA certificate not verified. I hope you enjoy this video.